Well, howdy there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm here to tell you a story. A story about love. Love of family. Love of nature. Love of a graphically sexual nature. And it all starts where my marriage ended. With a murder. Not gonna lie, Chief. It's not pretty. In fact, it's maybe the grossest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> he did? Uh, yeah, Chief. Totally dead. Detective Grace Hart, APD. I'm taking over this investigation. The story checks out. Well, we appreciate your help, Miss, uh... What's the situation? Well... Shot through the heart. And you're to blame. You give love a dead name. I guess we're putting out an APB on John Bon Jovi. He's to be taken out with extreme prejudice. <laughs> nice work, Chief. Well, guess we're about done here. Gentlemen! He's not your man. I've been working a case for months now. There's a pattern. Like... <laughs> what? No. The man you're looking for is completely insane. Oh, like... You know me, I'm Insane Wayne, and I must be nuts because the financing on these babies is crazy. Folks, I'll be honest, I'm not altogether upstairs. I constantly hear voices in my head telling me to give you low, low prices. So get down here and get yourself a great deal on a used vehicle before I light them all on fire. Not even a little bit. I've been sent here to take out the trash. How are you a cop? Well, I didn't ask. You were thinking it. Well, a, a little, you know, but... Come on, you guys. The DA's breathing down my neck here, and we're running out of time. I want to interview everyone who was within a five-mile radius when this went down. And I want it done yesterday. Well, barring any time travel technology I'm not aware of, I don't see how that's Let's gonna... Let's get a few things straight. You don't need to like me, but you will not question my orders or my understanding of space-time. Got it? I could not agree to that. Physics bows to no one. Sorry, dipshit! But I'm in charge here, not Isaac Newton John or whoever invented Back to the Future. Oh, that's my favorite movie. Which one? Part three. God damn it! I like trains. Why don't you shut your gaping idiot box and get me witnesses? Now! I didn't see a thing. I have no idea who did it. It was dark and I wasn't even nearby. The only thing I can tell you that might be helpful is, well, I, I did catch a glimpse for a moment, a moment, you know? And he was white, mid-50s, about five foot 10, very distinctive features. Other than that, I could not catch any details. 
I don't know for sure. There's a chance it was old man Osborne who lives by the creek. I only say that because it looked exactly like him and I'm 100% sure it was him. Looks like old man Osborne's getting some company. Aren't I coming? Sure. Well, then he's getting a crowd. What? Well, two's company, three's a crowd. <laughs> Shut up. I hate you. Let's go. Meanwhile, in a nearby campsite, there's a boy and his grandmother Rose, who's as tough as an old boot and twice as beautiful. Chad! Are we gonna hang out at all, or should I just go fuck myself? Oh, what? This trip is supposed to be a chance for us to spend some quality time together. I prefer quantity over quality, Grandma. So what? You want to spend a ton of time together but have the hangouts be less than satisfactory? Exactly. Hence me cataloging my library of dick pics. Well, Chad, quantity might not be an option for long. Ah! Oh! I am dying. What? You are? Of what? Well... I'm afraid you've tested positive. For what? Everything. Here's a brief pamphlet on your condition. What a cock in the ass. I've got all the diseases, Chad. All of them. Grandma, I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I didn't want you to worry. No, I mean, we've been drinking out of the same cup a bunch on this trip. God knows what I have now. Oh, Oh, shut up. You're young and virile. Plus, there's some perks to being terminally ill. Here's your bill. I'm dying. Really? What the hell? I'll tell you what, 10% off. I brought you here so we could have some time together before I'm dead. Jeez, don't say that, Grandma. And you're my favorite grandchild. I'm your only grandchild. So you could just have colon cancer and it wouldn't be your favorite cancer, would it? You see what I'm saying? Listen, I'll tell you what, Grandma. I promise I'll make more of an effort to spend time with you. You will? Oh, I love you, Chad. You're my best friend. You're one of my good friends, too. Okay. Why don't you go get us some firewood? No problem, Graham. Sloan? Chad? What are you doing here? I'm here with my parents on vacay. Oh, I didn't know that you'd be here. Oh, I've missed you so much. It's been way too long since I've seen you. Did you get my letters? Yes. I bring a letter from your summer love, Sloan. Thanks, Sparrow. Sparrow? Seriously? Tell me something. Have you ever heard of a carrier sparrow? Honestly. No, 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 don't look at the floor, you piece of shit. Look me in the eye and tell me that you've even once heard of a fucking carrier sparrow. Because that's not a thing that exists. I am a goddamned pigeon. You, sir, are a racist, plain and simple. I'm so sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is the last message I've delivered to you, you absolute waste of human life. Good day, sir. But I'm really- I said good day, sir. Yeah. Well, I got some of them. I can't say for sure that I got all of them. I hate that we don't live in the same city. I hate that we only get to see each other once a year at this stupid campsite. You know what I don't hate is how we're both a little bit older now. I think it's time we took this relationship to the next 
level. You mean... So... You want me to suck your dick? Or... I'm not super clear on what that means. <laughs> Meet me tonight and find out. I swear on my grandmother's life, I will be there. <laughs> Meanwhile, deep in the woods, one of them, uh, what you call, experimental anthropologists is just starting a day. Hello, wise old tree. Hello, you funny shrubbery. Hello to all my forest friends. You are all precious, from the biggest beast to the tiniest insect. Ah, fucking piece of shit mosquito. I wish they'd all die. What's that? Sounds like an animal or something. Maybe a sad tea kettle? Either way, it's in trouble. Bigfoot, I have been searching for you my entire career. Bigfoot, I'll find you one day. He was just here. I'm getting close. Hmm. And he needs more fiber in his diet. Would you like a wheat bran bar? Wow. Oh, wow. This is incredible. You're really real. Oh, you must be hurt. You must have fallen down and broken your leg. What? But you fall so hard around here. I mean, it's pretty flat. There's no real obstruction to speak of. Were you drunk? Bigfoot, were you hitting the sauce? Oh. Here. <gasps> I'm here to help. Don't be a butthole. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, this is incredible. I can't believe it's happening. Is this a dream? Am I dreaming? <laughs> Pinch me. No, really. Pinch me, I want to make sure this is really real. Ow! Fucking cocksuckers! You didn't have to pinch me so hard! At least I know it's not a dream. It's more like a fucking nightmare. Oh, it's okay. Nobody's not fixed. <laughs> Let's go get you all fixed up. And remember, Bigfoot, take it easy on the booze. Sweet mamas love your baby. Mamas love your son. Hold them close cause they're growing up And then soon they'll be gone What a lonesome day Baby's gotten older What a lonesome life 
without you, without me, take good care, my dear. I'll always be with you, but you've got your own story to tell. Sweet mamas love your baby. Sweet mamas love your sons Hold them close cause they're growing up And then soon they'll be gone Sweet mamas love your babies Sweet mamas love your sons Hold them close cause they're growing up And then soon they'll be gone Soon they'll be gone. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> well, I can see that, but you can't just throw your oil into the forest. What about the environment? <laughs> oh, please, Bigfoot. I have told you at least a dozen times. Whose car is this anyway? Is this your car? <laughs> This is ridiculous! What do you need a car for anyway? Oh. You don't mean to be bad. Uh -oh. You just do whatever you want and you can't help it, right? Uh -huh. Oh, come here. Uh. Bigfoot, I just got finished. Uh. <laughs> I do think you have a drinking problem, though. Meanwhile, yellow-bellied organ and hard-ass Grace Hart find themselves outside of old man Osborne's cabin. This is it. This sure is spooky. Here's the only picture on record of old man Osborne. It's his driver's license photo. <laughs> Swipe left, am I right? <laughs> what? Uh, you know, Tinder? Because you gotta you, you swipe if, if they're... If you don't shut your goddamn mouth, I'm gonna cut your balls off, shove them so far down your throat that they'll end up at your penis and you'll just have balls again. Jeez, lady. You must be a real hit with the fellas. Just joined a dating service. Bonjour, sexies. My name is Insane Wayne, and I'm here to help you find the love you deserve. For the low, low price of absolutely free, I will come over to your house tonight and make sweet, belligerent love to you right in your romance hole. Call today, because meeting people is hard, and so am I. Let's just say my needs are being met. Okay, so what's the plan with Osborne? We go in hard and fast, guns blazing, follow my lead. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, yeah, all right. No, wait, 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 wait. Real quick, marry, fuck, kill, uh, me? Hitler, me again. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Morgan. He's dead. No shit. Oh. Looks like old man Osborne was a red herring. You know, I've never tasted red herring. It hasn't been for lack of trying. I'll have the classic red herring. Coming right up. This isn't what I expected. Classic red herring. Shh. Do you hear that? It sounds like somebody's saying what they're about to do. There, Horgan! The killer! Let's go! Uh, you? Oh, God! Oh. I'm sorry. I just keep thinking of the dead body. So gross! Damn it, Horgan! We're losing them! I'll catch up. <sighs> Meanwhile, Chad and his grandmother settling in with some good old-fashioned quality. Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, 
fuck. My goddamn marshmallow is on fire and I can't do anything about it because I'm half dead. Fucking cocksucker. It's like Michael Jackson in a fucking Pepsi commercial. God damn it! Not even the ants are gonna want this shit. Fuck this. Dying fucking suck. Hey, Grandma, um, I, I was thinking, it's getting pretty late. Maybe you should go to bed. What are you talking about? It's not even seven. The night is young. I was just thinking. Don't forget, you still got to put my ointment on me. You get to put ointment on all my sores. Um, hey, hey, Grandma, hey, uh, wh why don't you go ahead and get your medicine and then we can get started? That's a great idea. Lord knows I can't eat this train wreck of a fucking marshmallow. Look at it. you'd never come. That's not what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring protection? Cool. Wait, wait. What? I, I, I've never done this before. Had sex? No. Kissed on the mouth. Well, I'll be gentle. So, just to be clear, though, you're not a virgin, right? Shit, no. I'm 15. Are you? Let's just say that right now I'm kind of like Comcast. What does that mean? I'm gonna fuck you hard and repeatedly, and there is pretty much nothing you can do to get out of it. Cool. After my ointment, you can help me measure out my pills. Chad? Chad? Meanwhile, uh, Willow Sage, the kooky anthropologist, Bigfoot, are uh, settled in to domestic bliss. You know, I'd like to get to the grocery store before it closes. We're running low on some supplies. I just want to say how proud I am of you, Bigfoot. You've made such incredible progress, and you've really cut down on your drinking and drugging. <laughs> Will you be okay if I duck out for just a minute? Now promise me you won't get too crazy. You're not in the wild anymore, Bigfoot, and you need to start acting a little more civilized, like we talked about. <laughs> okay, then. I'll go. I'll see you when I get back. You know, they say that men with big feet have big penises. But isn't it ironic that the creature literally called Bigfoot has the smallest dick of them all? <laughs> Anywho, bye.
Beer is delicious. Drink it. Oh, sorry. Uh, just a completely random guy. I just happened to be passing by and I noticed all that beer. And as I said, it looks delicious. I think you should drink it. I know I would. And what happens next? Well, what happens next is enough to break your damn ticker if you let it.
next morning, Grace Hart is cradling Horgan's dying body. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. Is it bad? Depends. Are you uh, immune to being impaled through the chest? No. Then yes, it's very, very bad. But I can't die yet. There's still so many things I want to do. Like what? <laughs> like have sex with a Polynesian chick? Aren't you married? Oh God, I have so many regrets. Please oh. tell me they're not all sexual. No, I mean like real regrets. Moments I can never get back. <laughs> hey, hey, are you gonna finish that? Uh, no, go ahead. Thanks. Oh, uh, so Sunday night, uh, we have the space free. Oh, Does that work for you? Yeah. Yeah, I've already, I can send out an email, probably get like 12 or 13 people there. It'll so be fun. So which style of dance you gonna teach this time? Oh, I think you can probably like a Zumba class. I should have finished every meal, every goddamn time. Hey. I hear there's a buffet table in heaven that never closes. Are you just saying that to make me feel better? Sorry, I wasn't there to protect you, Horgan. I swear to God, your death will not go unavenged. I'm gonna find whoever did this to you, and I'm gonna throw him in the garbage. I love you, Grace. Again, aren't you married? Uh, not while I'm working. And we just met, like, yesterday. So? I've pretty much been ragging on you nonstop since then. I mean, talk about not reading signals. Are you seriously gonna friend zone me on my deathbed? That is fucked up. Oh, 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 oh my life is flashing before my eyes. Oh, God. Why is it all barf? You know, maybe it's better you didn't finish all those meals. I mean, it doesn't seem like you retain much of it anyway. Grace, I, I have a confession to make. I lied to you earlier when I said that Back to the Future 3 was my favorite movie. Thank God. Well, what is it then? You. That's so sweet. I got mail. What? <coughs> You've got mail. It's my favorite movie of all time. I wanted you to know that. <laughs> no one should know that. No one. This is it. This is it. That I love them. I will. And you, you tell your family that you love them too. I can't. Why not? It's my dying wish. You can't deny a dying wish. It's time. Before I die, promise me this. Anything. You know my dog, Patches? Make sure he runs for president in 2016. Consider it done. Not that, it's, I can't tell my family I love them because I don't have any. Yes, you do. Time to fuck some butts. I, I think I broke my ankle. You're gonna have to go on without me. 
but shoot me in the head first, like a wounded horse. Wow, that went from zero to holy shit in like two seconds. Sloan. Sloan. Look. I think the missing link is here to finish us off while we're down. Hey, 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 check it out. Maybe he's not after us at all. Wait, 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 T time out, Bigfoot, time out. Why is your purse so loaded with painkillers anyway? Do your parents know that? I didn't want to get into this, but I don't have any parents. Not anymore. And I use these pills to ease the pain. I shouldn't have told you. I don't want you to treat me any differently just because I'm a dirty, pathetic orphan. Not all orphans are dirty. I gotta know though, why'd you keep coming back to this campsite every year if you didn't have parents? I came back for you. Really? Also, I was on a prison work crew. This camp was on our cleanup route. What? I got busted with the proverbial mountain of prescription drugs. Which proverb is about a mountain of prescription drugs? Bumped me up to intent to distribute on account of my priors. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your parents? Well, it was a long time ago, but they were taken. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have any money because I'm a teenager. Also, because I'm a teenager, I don't have any skills that I can use against you. I'm not exactly in a position of power here, so I don't know why I'm talking so tough. I think you might have the wrong number. Maybe the reason I use these pills is because I feel guilty about not having a very particular set of skills to save my parents with. Or maybe I just really like getting high. Tough to say. It was very brave of you to share that with us. <sighs> did you ever catch whoever did it? I have absolutely zero idea who took that poor girl's parents. The only thing I know for sure, old man Osborne did it. Yeah, we already looked into that. He didn't do it. But none of that matters anymore, Chad. Boning you was a game changer for me. Please, you have to believe me. As soon as we got back to town, I was gonna donate those pills to charity. Prove it. Your turn, Bigfoot. It takes an addict to recognize an addict. Throw away the pills. Be brave! Why? I don't have a drug problem. He has a point, Chad. It's about solidarity. No, I'm, I'm actually in pain. I, I broke my ankle. Right. Doesn't matter. It's about contact. What? No! I, I literally don't think I can stand without them. Damn it! Okay, there they go. Okay. Here we go! Ah! Ah! I can't! I believe in you! The pain is so intense! I love you! <laughs> well, now that I think about it, there really was no reason we shouldn't have let him have the pills. Well, what's done is done. Those who obsess over the past are 
doomed to something something. Anyway, point is, let's do some pills. <sighs> okay, Bigfoot. I know everyone else thinks you're a drunken monster, <sighs> but today is the day to change all that. Think you can get Chad back into town? <sighs> what if I toss in a BJ? <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on him. I was gonna offer that anyway. Freeze! Put your hands in the air. Now wave them like you just don't care. Good. You're safe. I want you to move away from the missing link. No. No, you don't understand. He's trying to help us. Step aside. Harry and the Hendersons here just killed my best friend and partner. Aw, I'm your best friend? I oh. mean, it's definitely like a good one. What are you doing here? I'm like your guardian angel now, watching over you from above. Always watching. Creepy. Don't you have anything better to do? Well, yeah, I'm about to surf a tidal wave of clouds. A bunch of dodo birds is the surfboard. Heaven rules! <laughs> this monster has been killing for too long, and now it's time to take him out. I had a really great time tonight. Now it's back to the woods. And now it's time to die. I am not gonna ask again. Move away from the Sasquatch with the small dick. No, you're making a big mistake. He's a good person. He's no person. He's a monster. Don't move. Stop right there. I will blow your brains out. the only force capable of turning an enemy into a friend. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you. No. Thank you. Wow. We can't unsee that. Well, well, well. Looks like I wasn't invited to this little party. Who are you? Don't you recognize your killer when you see her? Homemade Bigfoot boots, you big dummy. <laughs> it can't be. Check your gender bias, bitch. Not so fast, Dana Scully. Everyone just take a big step over. Right, all of you line up, num nuts. That's right. I killed all of them. Your partner, old man Osborne, and all the rest. I was just doing my part to protect the environment from your polluting human ways. You come in with your camping and your police tape and you're destroying the majesty of nature. I wish you'd killed him. He was the worst one of them all. You would have been a perfect fall guy. But I guess I've got to finish it myself. But which one goes first? You did it! You saved us! Did I kill it? Did I hit the deer? We thought you were dead. I was. What was heaven like? It was amazing. Up to mighty London. 
Thanks again, old lady. Of course. We should get you home to your parents, and I should see a doctor immediately. Not so fast. You did just murder a woman. We kind of have to deal with that. We'll need a good lawyer, and I think I know where we'll get one. Hello, I'm Wainwright, and I'm here to tell you that faking insanity is a completely valid defense against any allegation. It worked for me, and it can work for you. Cuckoo ku ku I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to arrest you for murder. Did I mention I'm dying? Let's call it manslaughter. I'm, I'm sorry, Grandma. I don't think I'll be able to go anywhere like this. My ankle's still totally busted. It's fixed! It's totally better! Wow! Why the fuck didn't you do that earlier? As much as I'd love to stand here and listen to you yell at that pile of dogs, I'm extremely short on a live time over here. Just give me one minute, Grandma, okay? I'm sorry, babe. I gotta go. This isn't goodbye. Well, it kinda is, though. Just not a permanent goodbye, just like a bye, see you soon. There's something I have to tell you. What? I'm pregnant. Possibly. Who knows? I just wanted you to know that anything is possible. You taught me that. I won't forget you, or you. Maybe, baby. Okay, Casanova. Well, we should get you back to your parents. I don't have any. I'm an orphan. Bigfoot? What do you say we take her in and be one big happy family? 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 Yeah. Family. So is that blowjob still on the table? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I think it's pretty inappropriate given our new dynamic. Totally. I get that, for sure. I get that. And so, Grace, Sloan, and Bigfoot all lived happily ever after. So did Chad. His grandmother died like 20 minutes later, but we all knew it was coming, so it wasn't that big of a deal. The end. Well, that about does it for our story tonight. Hope you had a good time. And it was all 100% true. How do I know? Well, just so happens that Bigfoot was me. Look, I'm not whoever it is that you think I am. I, I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and you started talking to me. Uh, I've just been too polite to say anything until now. Did you hear what I said? That Bigfoot was me. Well, that's just the unbelievable cherry on top of an already implausible story. Look, man, I even told you that the Bigfoot had a small penis. Why would I tell you that? Just to tell you if it wasn't true. I'm being vulnerable here, man. Okay, uh, well, if, if you were the Bigfoot, then uh, why didn't you heal the grandma that was clearly dying and needed your help? I, I mean, you fixed that kid's ankle. And...
Mm-hmm. <laughs>